today I'm going to explain your conceptual mapping of So as I explained in last class, in developing assessment item, so you, you need to think about you know, different mathematical activity you know, based on NCTM standard as well as you know, team's conceptual framework last time. We have thought about you know, how can you access to mathematical activity, right? Especially, you focused on by using teams' conceptual frameworks. You know what kind of question might be used, right, to develop or to evaluate a different kind of mathematical activities. In addition to uh, different mathematical activity, I think you also need to think about in depth what kind of conceptual mapping or conceptual structure you need to use in terms of developing assessment item. First of all, I want to hear from you why did you select this topic. I just summarized basically the topic you selected. Group 1, for instance, differentiation. And group 2, matrix. Group 3, sequence. Group 4, quadratic curve. Group 5, differentiation. Group 6, definite integral and parabola, limit of function, and logarithm. But group 10, you know, didn't decide yet, probably. But anyway, they analyzed problem set based on uh, different topics. That's why I didn't include you know, group 10. Anyway, you may address your still point if you want to you know just to decide only one topic. I'm going to give you a chance because you know before developing your conceptual mapping. So I want to hear your opinion about you know why did you decide? I'm just curious about from each of you. Group one. <coughs> Group 1이 누구야? 저 그룹 김성민, 김기환 yeah. Any one of you Do you have any specific reason you know, to select you know, differentiation as a topic for your topic? To analyze you know, five different kinds of you know, activity? 그 커넥션을 더잘 찾아볼 수 있을 것 같아서 mm -hmm. 이렇게 했습니다. They, base, uh, they basically thought you know, connection might be, you know, clearly can be shown, right? In the topic of differentiation. Anyway, they want to connect you know, mathematical activity as well as you know, the uh, mathematical topic together. So what about group two today? 신재훈. Why did you select matrix? Basically, uh, their group, you know, thought about you know the solving two linear equations simultaneously uh, can be connected to the you know, matrix, right? Two by two matrix. That's why uh, I think their um, interest in you know the topic of matrix uh, for their project. What about the group three sequence? 
정준영, 배서영. Do you understand you know, his point, right? Uh, because they, they, they basically selected sequence because you know, uh, this group reasoning as well as induction right, might be deeply related to you know, reasoning and proof. You know, the one of the you know, five you know, activity or five process in the NSTM standard. That's why they selected the sequence. And yeah, you need to understand you know, rationale, which, you know, Others group developed, right? Because you know there are many other rationale. However, if you are going to listen carefully others' opinion about why they selected you know that topic, that might be useful because you know you may never thought about that issue, but you can learn you know something from you know others' group's opinion about that. What about group four, Hang Jong Sik and Park? Bang Song Su, why did you select the you know quadratic curve? Do you understand you know, his point? I think you know, uh, they provided a very clear three reasons why they selected you know, you know, the quadratic curve. But that's an interesting point from my perspective, especially you know, ambiguity of the topic quadratic curve, probably to student as well as to teacher, probably, right? That is the one of the reasons. Also, you know, maybe you know, many application of the topic to real life would be possible, you know, that's another, I think, reason. Anyway, that's, uh, you know, good rationale why your group selected, you know, quadratic curve. What about, you know, group five? Even though group one also selected, you know, differentiation, you may have some different reason why. Right? Yeah, go ahead. What about group six, definite integral? Thank you. 
성적이지 않다고 생각하는데 그런 거 내면서 이렇게 깔끔하게 정리가 되면서 이렇게 일정확하게 정리가 되는다라는 걸 느꼈고요. I think that's another good you know, reason you know, for you to select any topic in the field of you know, middle or high school mathematics. So, by the way, did, uh, what did you feel you know, when you learned you know, the first time the Lubecker measure, Lubecker integral? Uh, you, you didn't have a chance to learn you know, that topic? Anyway, I was just shocked actually when I learned you know, Lubecker measure, Lubecker, Lubecker measure and Lubecker integral. You know, because I thought you know, Riemann sum and Riemann integral is the, you know, you know, just all you know, concept related to integral. But all of a sudden, I realized the concept of measure is so important. So compared to you know, Riemann integral, you know, Lubecker integral, very interesting topic to me. Anyway, so that's why you know I can I know when I was you know I think a junior, I learned in the back major, but you know that topic was shocked me at that time. So I can you know think of you know that experience while I'm listening your opinion about that. Anyway, so I want to tell you. What about the uh, group seven of uh, parabola? Hasujong, Kim Jie. Maybe I misunderstood your problem. Anyway, go ahead then. Quadratic curve then, right? That was exactly you know um, what I intended at first. But anyway, you can change your topic. You know, while you're working on you know uh, homework, miscellaneous item, you may change your mind. But anyway, that was my intention. Okay, after selecting you know one topic, you can you know deeply involve that topic. After analyzing you know uh, different kind of process, different kind of you know, conceptual framework, you may develop your mathematical essay problem based on those experiences. Anyway, that was my first intention. But uh, whether you can change your topic or not, you know, it's okay, okay? Because you know, during the semester, maybe your thinking process make a progress. That's why I'm okay with that. What about the limit of function, group A? Speak loud, please. Uh, their group basically, you know, thought in the representation process can be, you know, deeply involved in, you know, in the topic of, you know, limit of function. That's why they selected, you know, limit of function. And you know, let's see, you know, what happened, you know, to that. What about the logarithm, group nine? Yeah. 
초기의 측면에서 로그라는 게 고등학교 들어가서 초반에 좀 접하는 생소한 기운이고 그런 표현이고 그리고 이제 지수와의 연관성도 좀 많이 보게 되었고 이제 그 프레젠테이션의 첫 번째에서 이제 그 수학적 개념을 조직하거나 이제 필요에 따라서 만들거나 사용할 수 있다라는 그 규준에 따라서 봤을 때 로그가 이제 큰 수의 연산이나 큰 수나 매우 작은 수의 그런 성질들을 파악하기 위해서 만들어졌다라는 거를 그 교과서에서 <웃음> 확인을 했어요. 그런 식으로 이제 연산을 했던 천문학자들이 그런 필요성과도 연관 연결이 되고 해가지고 이제 로그를 결정해가지고 로그란 단어를 결정해서 리프레젠테이션을 쭉 한번 봤습니다. I think that's another, you know, good uh, reason why they selected, you know, logarithm, you know, in order to, you know, evaluate, you know, representation process uh, in mathematical activity. So, group 10, did you decide one topic yet or not? I'm just curious. I want to hear your decision, if there is. If not, you don't have to tell me, but... Uriah, did you decide what one topic or not? Not yet? Not yet? So based on, uh, as you can see, all of you except the group one and five do have a different topic, right? Uh, if you are going to develop a conceptual mapping as well as the final you know, mathematical essay you know, project, so I'm going to share all this content after uploading all your project as well as all your homework on the EKU website. You can even you can easily download you know others you know. You know, homework as well as you know, final projects you know, for your reference. Based on, your, based on the topic you selected, you need to think about uh, from now on, next, by next Thursday, different conceptual structure. As I said, in order to develop any assessment item, you need to think about first, you know, conceptual mapping. Why conceptual mapping is so important? Basically, after looking at, I can compare like this way. Out of the whole picture, you need to select one of them. For instance, there are 100 items. Well, what kind of item you want to select? That's going to be important, right? Because you know, that's going to be impact. You know, what kind of assessment item are going to be used to evaluate student understanding of the topic you taught, right? That's why you can just select based on your preference, right? That's not going to be fair, especially in terms of evaluating student understanding of the topic you taught. That's why you need to reasonably think about what kind of topic should be selected for evaluating student understanding. Therefore, in conceptual framework, conceptual or mapping, you can easily see what is the key concept in a whole topic. Also, by using conceptual mapping, important mathematical concepts can be selected and tested by using different mathematical activity. That's why conceptual mapping, even though you do know the topic, however, before clarifying what kind of connection, what kind of hierarchy, what kind of key concept should be emphasized under the topic, you may not realize, right, what kind of problem is the best representation in terms of evaluating student understanding of that topic. That's why you need to draw a diagram or picture 
to address all key concepts as well as their relationship. Also, there is one issue in terms of developing assessment item. So generally important concepts should be emphasized in your assessment or specifically important concept also emphasized, right? You need to select one of them. You cannot include all of them simultaneously because there are limitations, right, in the assessment. That's the dilemma. So, Therefore, conceptual mapping can provide mathematical structure as well as a key concept under each structure. That's why math educators emphasize, you know, teachers need to draw conceptual mapping before finalizing their assessment item. So it can give an insight into connection between among mathematical ideas as well. So one of the interesting perspectives, for instance, last semester, last years, uh, two different groups selected a logarithm or exponential function. But after looking at their conceptual mapping, their emphasis, also their connection are different each other. Right? Then what happened? They may emphasize different point, right? Because they thought about key concept, you know, different from the other group, right? In that case, maybe from my perspective in developing their assessment, they may emphasize different key concept, right, in their assessment. That's why you need to think about in depth, you know, what kind of, you know, conceptual mapping should be drawn in each topic. That's why we don't have enough time, right, during the semester. You cannot review all those content, right, in middle school and high school. That's why we need to work on together, right? That's why I separate the time group. If you're going to just select one topic and develop just in one conceptual mapping, one mathematical essay problem, even though you, you developed only one, but you can see the other nine conceptual mapping as well as, you know, the other nine mathematical essay problem. That's going to be real valuable you know, asset you know, for your teaching. Also, you can generate idea about different level of assessment you know, difficulty. So let me uh, clarify what is a you know, conceptual mapping. What kind of sum? At the end of class, I'm going to show you a, a concrete example which was developed by student, okay? But not in middle school, high school topic. I'm going to provide example related to real analysis and topology, okay? So conceptual mapping can be defined in this way. But uh, you can maybe define differently, but uh, you need to remember what is the purpose of conceptual mapping. You don't have to memorize the definition or you know, some characteristic which were described by others. Okay? You don't have to memorize. That's not the purpose of the conceptual mapping. The main purpose of, of developing conceptual mapping is to provide you if you're going to select any mathematical topic for evaluation, what kind of structure I have under the topic? For instance, differentiation. So what kind of key concept, what kind of structure you can think of that topic? Therefore, conceptual mapping conceptual map, there are you know, different kind of name, by the way. Some people call it you know, conceptual map, or some people conceptual mapping in order to emphasize process, and also, or conceptual structure, and it does not matter you know, what kind of name you, uh, you are going to use. But the important thing, conceptual map or conceptual structure can be defined 
as a graphing model to help students understand organized mathematical knowledge of a topic. Do you understand? Basically, you need to draw the you know, you know, all related you know, concept under the topic and drawing. What kind of relationship? As, uh, when I was a high school student, I think you know one of the teacher used in you know, a conceptual map, you know, uh, to explain you know the topic to student. I think uh, I'm not sure that's a good idea or a bad idea, but you can think of you know that way. So uh, why a conceptual mapping? Then you can think of you know probably that's going to be allowing student to understand key concept and their connection. Whether you know you can show that conceptual mapping to student or not, basically in your teaching, if you are going to clarify your whole idea under the topic, so what are the key concepts as well as you know what kind of a connection among them, then you are going to emphasize that aspect in your teaching. That's why conceptual mapping. Your understanding of conceptual mapping is so important. Also, helping students integrate new concepts with older concepts. Uh, basically, you know, while you are going to teach the topic, right, you are going to relate it each other. Right? If you are going to clear, if you are going to have a clear picture of conceptual mapping, because you always emphasize, oh, this concept related to that. Exponent function, exponent, exponential function related to logarithm function, right? That's why, because you have that kind of connection in your mind, you are going to emphasize in your teaching. Take a look at this kind of relationship. You should understand this, right? So based on conceptual mapping, you are developing your own connection as well as in your teaching, you can emphasize. That's why drawing a conceptual mapping another important skill. Also, encouraging students to generate both a new idea and connection and expand their understanding. From time to time, you know, many students just isolated their idea. They cannot see connection. But if you're going to emphasize, based on your conceptual mapping, connection between mathematical ideal, Students may realize, right? While you are emphasizing those connections, students can realize you know, those kind of connections. That's why connection, as many of you emphasize, connection is one of the important process students realize. And then those kind of connections make students more sense in learning mathematics. So how to build your conceptual mapping then? First, you need to start a main idea. You need to select, for instance, in the topic of a logarithm, what is the main idea, do you think? In the topic of differentiation, for instance, what is the main idea from your perspective? Under the main idea, also you need to determine key concept, right? So what is the key concept? Also, finish it with the structure by connecting concept with relations when developing level of hierarchy. If you're going to draw in any conceptual mapping, you need to draw the connection, right? For instance, one topic, there is one concept and another concept. There is obviously relationship, right? So how can you draw? Only connection, but still there is you no know, hierarchy as well, right? But after learning this concept, students are supposed to learn next concept, right? That's going to be hierarchy. So that's why you know drawing conceptual mapping is not that simple. Take a look at the, this is the. Real analysis. As you can see, this kind of you know conceptual mapping 
have been drawn by students. From this group of students, what they thought, what are the key concepts? They thought, in real analysis, there are six key concepts, right? For instance, real number, differentiation, integration, right? Sequence, <coughs> sequence of function, and continuity, right, of function, and limit of function. So whether you agree upon this opinion or not, that that's not important right now, okay? At least they categorized six key concepts under the topic real analysis. Make sense to you? After analyzing key concepts, for instance, take a look at real number. Can you see the... Let me make it a little bigger. Can you see now on the back side? Take a look at, for instance, Sirsu. Uh, they are going to make uh, some connection, right? Under the Sirsu, what is Sunso Gongli, Chei Gongli, Jian Sui, Zhong Yel Song, right? They develop this kind of inner connection. Also, right here, there is hierarchy, right? Under the Sirsu, one vision only, and they develop three different topics. Under the, this one. Also, under the differentiation, there are two different topics, right? One topic is 미분 가능성, and the other is 미분 가능한 함수의 성질, right? So this kind of you know, structure, you know, basically, what kind of advantage can you think of if you're going to develop this kind of conceptual mapping? So each topic, right, is not going to be isolated. Based on your understanding of the whole topic, you need to connect all of them simultaneously under the one picture, right? or one diagram. So that's one of the important process from my perspective at the beginning of the stage. So you may not include all of them at first, but while you are going to discuss together as a group, you can better understand, oh, this kind of thing conflict each other, oh, this is not good diagram, this is not a good picture in terms of summarizing all topic together. That's why I assign you know, conceptual mapping homework as a group work. Okay? In each group, you may have some discussion type. Maybe each of you just develop your own diagram or own conceptual mapping at first. And then getting together, you're going to talk each other based on each of you drawing. Right? From that discussion, I think, I'm expecting you're going to learn a lot. Oh, your classmate, your groupmate, different perspective, right? They have different perspective from you. Then you're going to have in a group discussion and then you're going to decide. Then what is the best way in terms of summarizing all topic in differentiation, in quadratic curve, in matrix? That's one of the important process. I may not disagree. I, I may dis maybe I may not agree with your you know, summary, but that's not the point here. The point is based on your experience, based on your group discussion, you need to develop your own conceptual mapping first. Okay? 
those kind of process is so important while you are learning. Also, I'm expecting, as I said, you are going to learn a lot from that kind of discussion. Make sense to you while I'm assigning this assignment? Also, you can see topology for your understanding. Similarly, you know, but anyway, you just uh, you know, think about you know, the content you learned, right? You already took topology as well as a real analysis, right? Based on your understanding, you may not disagree, right? You may not agree with you know, this kind of diagram, but uh, you know, take a look at it. After looking at you know, this diagram, you're going to learn a lot. Oh, I have never thought about this one. But this is interesting perspective, right? You may need to consider. That's why I provide this one. And you take a look at it carefully, each of them. I think, uh, but from my perspective, this is good summary. Because this is not on, this is not the diagram or conceptual mapping drawn by only one person. This is the part of a group work. Okay? They, they had a discussion time, they work on together, and they finalize this diagram, this conceptual mapping. That's why this one is valuable. Okay? Also, you can see abstract algebra as well, right here. Maybe you like abstract algebra. <clears throat> but take a look at the structure as well. You know, uh, what kind of key concepts should be emphasized? That's going to be important. Otherwise, you know, drawing and connection are much more difficult, right? That's why you need to structuralize. But think about this way. If you are going to teach abstract algebra as a teacher, if you do have this kind of structure in your head, in your mind, from my perspective, your teaching is going to be different. Right? If you do have this kind of clear picture in your mind, right? I think in your teaching, you should emphasize this kind of structure as well as relationship, right, between each subtopic. That's why after drawing or conceptual mapping, I think your perspective, your emphasis, or your approach to teaching might be different compared to before. That make sense to you? That's why this is the, another important assignment from my perspective. So, second miscellaneous item by next Thursday. Basically, you already selected one topic, right? Except group 10. But you already, I do know what topic did you select. So develop a conceptual map of the topic your group selected. Please make it in detail as much as you can. See an analysis example. Also, you can see abstract algebra as well as topology. Okay? After looking at you know, carefully each diagram, each picture, you need to think about how can you make your group own conceptual mapping of the topic you selected. You're, you're supposed to submit by next Thursday before starting the class. Please submit a hard copy after printing out. Don't email me, okay? Please bring just one paper after summarizing your conceptual mapping. Any question regarding the homework? I'm going to still explain conceptual mapping though, but uh, I just want to clarify what kind of assignment it's going to be. Any question regarding the homework by next Thursday?
The second m i s s i l e n i s i t e m 정시가. You may have some question. No. <laughs> Any other question? Is it clear to you what kind of work I'm going to do in the second m i s s i l e n i s i t e m Yes. Mm -hmm. No problem at all. Whether you can, I'm going to show you two different, you know, conceptual mapping. One, you know, one group they use, you know, the what is it? The some software drawing. You no, know, it does not matter. You can draw by using your hands. You no. Know. Probably, but if this is your first time, I think you had better draw by your own hands. Otherwise, it takes too, you know, too much time, you know, for you to use technology. Because, you know, from time to time, you know, it's not easy, you know, to draw in some, you know, sensitive issue. That's why I recommend, you know, you to draw the diagram by using your hands. That's much more convenient for you to draw, you know, to complicate your drawing. Any other question? Make sense to you? What you're going to do? Also, maybe to follow me, uh, I'm going to show all the you know conceptual mapping, and then we are going to have some discussion time. Especially, for instance, uh, in differentiation, the topic of differentiation, right? We do have two different group. I'm going to show you simultaneously both of them and compare each other. Logarithm, for instance, I do have the, some diagram which was constructed last year. I'm going to compare and then you are going to see you know, what kind of advantage, what kind of disadvantage, if you are going to select one of them. Okay? Any other question regarding the second m i s s i l e n i s i t e m So I'm going to evaluate conceptual mapping based on these four topics. First of all, uh, basically under the topic, key ideas were selected appropriately, right? For instance, if you're going to select, like we know, the, you know, based on the three examples, right? They clearly select a key idea, right? For instance, real analysis, they selected you know, six key ideas, right? And then under the each idea, they draw in you know, a connection as well as in you know, a subtopic. Also, is there any level of hierarchy? Obviously, you know, all drawing do have level of hierarchy, right? Also, connection is clear, right? Do you understand what is the connection, right? If you're not going to draw any connection, you don't have to use the, the line, right? But line means there is connection. So concept will connect each other, right? So if you want to explain, you can explain. Anyway, drawing itself is not the purpose of conceptual mapping. Okay? Drawing from time to time, you're going to spend too much time on drawing. But drawing is not an important issue. You can explain if you want. Oh, this line probably different meaning from that line. Then you need to explain. Okay? From your perspective, oh, this line probably may have some different meaning. Then you need to explain, right? Even though you know, drawing is much more you know, complicated, but it does not matter. I just want to clearly see what kind of idea Did you develop right from that you know the drawing? Therefore, connection you need to clarify, and obviously you need to group, right? So in order to develop key idea, right? You have to all you know concept you know categorize. Oh, this one is probably categorized into this key idea, right? 
or this concept can be categorized here. And then you can, you know, categorize, you know, probably into, you know, key idea. That might be a, a good starting point in terms of, you know, developing conceptual mapping. So one of the simplest way, instead of drawing at first complicated, you know, diagram or picture, you just, you know, make a simple drawing first, okay? And then you need to include more and more content in your drawing. That's much more convenient. Otherwise, you know, it's not that easy to draw, you know, complete conceptual mapping. For instance, here is, you know, the, one of the reasons, uh, one of the, you know, example, uh, a unit on linear function. Uh, basically, after developing, you know, so before developing conceptual mapping, your group member discuss together, oh, what are the key concepts? Do you think uh, this all key concept include all the content in the topic of, for instance, differentiation or in the topic of matrix? Do you think so? So you need to decide what are the key concepts, key idea under the topic. Think about it. For instance, Byung-Soo. Under the topic of matrix, do you think what, what are the key concepts? Key idea. But what about the you know, addition, subtraction, multiplication of matrix? Also, what about the you know, inverse of matrix? How can you do that? Right. That's why you selected you know, clearly what kind of topic you are going to handle, right? So in that case, you may not handle the topic of matrix, right? Topic of matrix should include addition, subtraction, multiplication of two matrix, also in the inverse of matrix, right? That's why in your group discussion, you need to clarify, you know, what kind of topic you are going to have exactly, right? As I said, you selected differentiation, you know, matrix and quadratic curve, but it's still a big topic, right? So based on your group discussion, you need to clarify well, what kind of topic exactly you are going to focus on in order to develop your conceptual mapping, right? What about, the, what is it, the second? Chaboya, what's your topic? Sequence. So, what kind of key concept do you think you need to consider for your better understanding? I'm going to ask. <coughs> <laughs> right. I cannot remember you know, what is in, in English, right? So in your group discussion, you, you are going to ask each other, right? What about this topic? What about that topic, right? Then what kind of key idea should be considered? You are going to decide, right? That's why group discussion is so important, right? What about in the application of sequences, right? 
for instance, you know, geometrically, right? There are many, you know, uh, you know, tests, right? That kind of problem you can see, right? For instance, in the infinite process sequences, right? Uh, those kind of problems set should be included or not, right? Make sense to you? I just want to ask you for your better understanding. And you may miss your numbering, right? Let me ask you one more person and then I'm going to explain. Today is 25th. You, so? You are the 25th. <laughs> so what topic did you select? Pamsu Ekukam, right? So limit of function. So what kind of key idea can you think of then? Under the topic of limit of function. There are many topics going on, right? For instance, what about the you know, sum of two limit of function, right? Right? Division. Also, you know, oh, oh, what about, you know, what else? What about, you know, just, you know, uh, under the, uh, under the limit of function, what about in the x approaches the, you know, some specific number where x approaches the infinity? Those topics should be separated or should be included each other, right? There are many you know, topics going on. So that's why in your group discussion, you are going to talk to each other, what about this? What about that? Uh, did we include all the topic, right? Make sense to you? What about the geometrical approach? to the limit of function. That can be different concept or almost the same concept. Just x approaches zero and find out in you know, a limit of function that is the same as in you know, a geometric approach. So algebra approach should be separated from the geometric approach, something like that, right? That's why you can decide you know, what kind of you know, topic or what kind of key idea should be considered. So make sense to you? Anyway, so based on you know uh, this kind of the simple drawing, simple picture, you can decide the key idea, right? Oh, this one, that. Okay, this one is relation in relation to this. Or oh, this kind of relations we can think of, right? Uh, this is probably starting point. You should select five to six or even ten key idea first in your group discussion. After selecting just key idea, you need to draw. Oh, what kind of relationship they do have under the key idea, right? Another, you know, so one, so after analyzing key idea, you can, you know, think of, you know, just in all the topic you can think of, like this way. For instance, let me give an example. Uh, just you know, for your better understanding, I'm going to give you provide. Uh, I'm going to give you example. Doyonge idong. Under the doyonge idong, you can think of uh, two different things, right? One is 평행 이동 and 대칭 이동. Obviously, 평행 이동 is different from 대칭 이동, right? Under the 평행 이동, you can see uh, a lot of different things, right? 평행 이동의 의미, right? What is the Definition, what is the meaning of it, right? Also, what about, uh, you know, two different, you know, approach possible, right? One is the point, right, transformation, right? What about uh, figure, right? And also, what about application you can think of, right? You can... Uh, draw as much as you can, you can think. Also, you know, that Chin Yidong, there are uh, different topics, right? What about, you know, the meaning of, you know, reflection, right? That Chin Yidong. What about, you know, uh, uh, 
Similarly, what about point? What about figure? Right? And then what about in the here? Under the uh, uh, point reflection, right? You can think of uh, x axis, y axis. What about ori? Right? Like this way, after developing you know, key idea, you can think of sub idea, right? Sub topic. While you're drawing some topic, you may change the key idea, right? Oh, this is not fit for this key idea. We may need to develop different key idea. That makes sense. Then, then you need to change, right? There's no fixed way you can develop as a group work, like this way. So make sense to you? Any question until now? Do you understand? Yes, Youngsu. Key concept이라는 게 그럼 하나의 토픽을 잡았을 때 거기에 거기에서 파생되는 세부적인 명제나 개념 같은 거를 얘기하는 꼭 그래야만 되는 건가? Uh, you don't have to, but the, uh, the probably this is the best way. So after selecting one topic, so what kind of structure? Do you want to develop under the topic, right? For instance, in your case, linear equation. For instance, let, let me assume linear equation. So linear equation, what about you know, algebraic and geometric approach possible, right? Also, its application. If you're going to select this kind of structure, for instance, algebraic approach, geometric approach, and application, this is your structure, right? So under the topic, what kind of structure do you want to emphasize? That's one of the important issue. But you may not agree with this kind of selection, right? Application is not important from your perspective because application geometrically, algebraically different. That's why you are in application under the algebraic approach and geometric approach. Even though you do have different perspective, however, that should be included, right? Application of linear equation. But even though you do have different perspectives, still those topics should be included, right? But you are going to select algebraically, geometry two key concept can be drawn, or algebraic, geometric approach, and application three key idea can be drawn. It's depending on what perspective should be emphasized from your perspective, right? But still, uh, th those topics should be included in your diagram. Any other question? There is some flexibility in terms, even though you are going to select only one topic, probably conceptual mapping may be different. However, if you're going to develop your own conceptual mapping in your teaching, you are going to be different in terms of explaining the topic. Because you do have clear picture and structure in your mind, right? Oh, linear equation. I'm going to emphasize while I'm teaching this topic, I'm going to algebraic approach and geometric approach these two topics. You should understand this key idea. And then you are going to approach in your teaching. By individually, each topic. If you're going to emphasize three different topics, algebra, geometry, and application, at the beginning of the teaching the topic, right, you're going to emphasize, okay, in this topic, you should learn three different things. One thing, algebraic approach, the other thing, geometric approach. Finally, you should un understand application of linear equation as well, right? That's why conceptual framework is so important in terms of teaching, also in terms of evaluating any topic in mathematics. Anyway, you do have group discussion, and then you are going to have experience, you know, maybe different perspective from your classmate, and then you are going to have discussion, and then you are going to finalize. But from that perspective, from that experience, you are going to learn a lot. 
That's why I'm going to sign the second emissary sale. Any other question? I already showed you this one, right? A final version, probably this kind of shape, or this kind of picture, or this kind of diagram, right? But as I said, you can draw differently, but it's not going to be important what kind of diagram, what kind of tool you are going to use. The important thing, based on your group discussion, you should finalize you know, conceptual mapping drawing. Okay? And then, as for the, in the second miscellaneous item, you are going to submit by next Thursday, before starting the class, this kind of one page drawing. Okay? Not just separately. Just one page drawing you need to submit by next Thursday before starting the class. Make sense to you? Any other question? So by next Tuesday, I'm going to emphasize your analysis. Basically, based on your problem, based on your understanding, you made a problem or you find out problem set from the textbook. I'm going to show you your example and then we are going to have a discussion time. For instance, I'm not going to judge your selection. But I'm going to show you others' classmate opinion. Okay? After showing you the result, right, by using ping pong, do you know how to use the ping pong, right? We have you know expert on that using, right? Right now. After showing other classmate opinion, we are going to have discussion time. Okay? Also I'm going to give you your defense time. If there are too much other opinion about that, okay? We are going to have some discussion time and then I'm going to finalize based on your discussion, okay? From math educator perspective, because I'm a math educator, probably this one can be this one, but still it can be categorized in this way, okay? That next Tuesday, next Thursday, okay? You, the, based on the first miscellaneous item, we are going to have discussion time. <coughs> By using those kind of activity in classroom, I think, I hope, you better understand five activity as well as team's conceptual framework. You also develop your own idea about uh, what are the five, what are the mathematical activity. So what pers perspective can we evaluate? in developing assessment item. Make sense to you? And the following week, based on your conceptual mapping drawing, you are going to have also discussion time. I just want to hear your opinion, and then you can look at others' opinion as well about your drawing. And then you are going to also some discussion, even debate time about that. Okay. And then I'm going to finalize based on your discussion and debate from math educated perspective. This is going to be probably better or even this is the, you know, better than the other or not just better than the other, uh, probably advantage, if possible, I'm going to discuss advantage and disadvantage. Okay, or even drawback, not just disadvantage. If you're going to select this one, uh, this kind of advantages are possible, but this kind of drawback you may experience. But uh, if you are going to select the other option, you are going to have other you know, advantages or maybe other drawbacks. Make sense to you? 
Any question regarding the second miscellaneous item as well as the midterm exam you are going to have? Any question? Now you can understand, right? What is going on next week and the following week until the midterm exam, right? Any question? So basically, before taking the midterm exam, you should understand two different things. One is mathematical activity, right? How to develop assessment item based on mathematical activity. Also, you need to understand how to develop conceptual mapping. Okay? Any other question? <coughs> 